morning students how are you all welcome to your english class today we are going to discuss about star trek the voyage home this is a poem which is inspired by film star trek 4 the voyage home this is the fourth film of star trek film series released in 1986 james kirk is the captain of starship uss enterprise who leads the crew as they explore new worlds where no man has ever gone before so we are going to read this poem we are going to read this poem a star trek the voyage home captain kirk's trek amid the oceans of stars was less memorable than the voyage home to the planet where mortals were born who realized that we are not alone people on earth think that they are all alone other animals plants other aquatic life and uh, other things on earth are not being taken care by human beings and human activities are mainly responsible for their extinction so captain kirk's trek when they were in the mid of stars that was not much memorable for them but the thing that was really memorable is the voyage home when they came back to earth to when they realized that mother earth is to be preserved the credo of the wise and brave is to boldly go where no man has gone before back to natural environment of earth and water confessing sins that we deplore so to save the earth save the earth the crew members they have gone to the area to the era back when there was extinction of whales where there was no extinction of whales the humpback whales were found and this crew has gone back to that era in which the humpback whales were surviving so they have confessed for their sins all the human activities that led to their extinction they just regretted about it spock believes it's highly logical to assume that an alien invasion will end our all life but the extinction of plants animals mammals will create perfect pandemonium and strife some people believe that uh, when the alien probe will come it cannot destroy the earth but if other even if the alien probe is not attacking the earth then also if the earth will not be having plants there will be no animals there will be no mammals then also the existence of human life is not possible so human being must realize this thing that our existence is possible only with the existence of plants animals mammals and all other natural resources with a message to live long and prosper the whale will sing their salt water songs and for the salvation of mother earth we must change to coexist and belong if we want that our earth should survive for long time if we want that we can we preserve our earth mother earth then we have to learn to coexist we have to follow the thought live and let others live we should not destroy our mother earth right we should always save the different species of animals different species of plants we should not do such activities with which we endanger their lives or with which such species should get extinct from the earth so this is all about the poem we should accept this thing that we are responsible for extin- uh, for the extinction of certain species the sins that we have done we should confess for them and we should preserve our earth from now onwards so this is the message given by this poem if you have any doubt any query you can drop on google class thank you shen stars take care all of you